Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Modsaw server. This is uh, Kinema here. No, I'm not Kinema. This is Kinema's server. I am Finaqua, and we are here today. That is not a fishing rod, by the way. We are here today at the launch center. The, uh, what are we going to call this place? I don't even know. The, um, I don't know. You guys tell me a good name, because I'm, I'm having trouble. Finaqua Launch Center. Finaqua Memorial Launch Center, considering the way most of my Kerbal Space Program missions turn out, that'll probably end up being the title of this this place. But yeah, we are here in... Is it Blood Moon? It's a Blood Moon, and I just changed my settings. I'm going to change them back. This is spooking me out. Change it back to plus 30. I think that's a little better. Um, doesn't help that there's things back there that we'll look at. Uh, but yeah, we're going to launch up into the Black Void today. Uh, let us go and see what we have to do. I have put a lot, a lot of time into this, um, so we are ready to go. I'm going to construct my tier 1 rocket, I have all the parts necessary in my inventory, and I don't know if I need that, I don't think I do. Extra pieces, alright, IKEA spacecraft. Um, I'm not going to put a chest in there, yes I am. That just shoots it out everywhere. Okay, where's my chest? I had a chest, I had something for this. It's fine, you know what, we'll make a chest. We will make a chest to put onto our space rocket. That makes sense, right? A wooden chest. How else would you uh, store items on a rocket ship, right? All right can I, yeah, I can just shift them all in there. That works for me brilliantly. So we got a tier one rocket, we got a chest, and we get a tier one rocket with 18 storage. I don't even know if I built I'm pretty sure. Oh, I did build a cogar loader. Okay, cool. So there we go. Bam, tier one rocket. I can't put it back in there. What happens when we hold it? I think it's something silly. Yeah, I'm just chilling out with a rocket. Big deal. Whatever. You know, I lift, bro. Come on. And there's a sailor. Hi. He's going to hide back in the ship. Yeah, that's just silly looking. Look at that. All right, anyway. So that's that. Uh, what else do we need? I have everything else in my inventory. I've got some stuff for a space base got an airlock frame. I don't have the meteoric iron I need to build the controller, the airlock controller, but I do have the rest of the materials, including a compressor somewhere. It's somewhere. Let's go back up and we will uh, not forget anything good. Go back up here. Oop, up. Uh, so yeah, if I find some meteoric iron, I can compress it in our new fancy moon base that we will construct up there and then we'll be good to go. We'll have a working airlock. We won't need to waste, uh, I don't know if it's a waste, but we can switch over from the bu air bubble to the, what's it called? Oxygen disperser or something? Sealer, oxygen, oxygen sealer. And does that require the same amount? I guess it's the same amount, but I guess theoretically you could build a uh, bigger space with it. I don't know, I really don't. Um, yeah, so that's that. So I think without further ado, let's see if we are ready to go. I know I have all of my things. I don't know what this does, but I have it. It's equipped. <laughs> and I have everything else, including two heavy oxygen tanks. So we're good to go. I've got my armor, which should last. And should, maybe? Even if that chest plate breaks, my armor will be terrible. All right, so let's go up to the control center up here, and let's see if we are ready to launch. We are go for launch. All right, perfect. So let's get out there. I would love to sleep the night away, but you know what? A night launch could be good too. Where's the moon? Yeah, it's gonna be a while. So we'll just fly on over using our genetic amazingness. And I've got a fluid conduit here because I have, or had, do I have it with me? I should, right? I should really get that fuel. I don't know where I put that. I have a drum of fuel, but yeah, it was here and it was loading up, so we got lots of fuel here. Uh, I have a coal generator here to power it, although I think it should work fine. Let's uh, slap our rocket down on here. Yeah, Brilliant. And load fuel. Is that all the fuel it takes? I don't want to get in it. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all the fuel it takes. Um, stop. Load. Yeah, there we go. Now it's working. 
stop. Load. Yeah, that seems to be all it's. Get over here, I didn't want your wool. Yeah, alright, whatever, you need to live this day. Uh, it's really dark. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm going to, um, go find that fuel, because I want to take that with me. I'm gonna wait for it to be day so you can see how pretty this thing is. If, if plain. And, uh, we'll be back. Because, because, yeah, I don't, I don't, it's dark. It's dark here. Okay, so here we are, back down here, underneath the launch center, and we are back in the guts. This is where actually most of the work happens. Um, these things are very strange in where they accept power, where they don't, and uh, you know where all their outputs are. So everything kind of gets jumbled around together. I'm sure there's some kind of optimal design, but spatial reasoning is not my strong suit. Um, so I did find the drum. It's back here with the two refineries. You can see I have quite a bit of fuel. Um, I also have quite a bit of oil still. I wasn't sure exactly how much I need. If that was really all I need to get to the moon, then that's going to be a ridiculous overflow of, uh, of fuel. But I'm going to take this with me because I would like to be 100% sure that I can get back. And I do have oil here, so it's not like I'm going to run out of fuel if I should need to teleport back or something. I do have the witchery materials that I'll need to teleport back to my um, ritual chamber if that should become necessary. Uh, but I think that we're good to go. I did make some rows as well. I've got this with me. Let's put that in the bag because we don't need that necessarily right here. I think that's good. Uh, we do have a lot of crap in here, but I think I'm only going to dump a couple of things right now before we go. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Don't need that. That's fine, right there. Perfect. That works. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're ready. Oh god, I'm a little anxious. I'm like going through final checks again. Even though I've, I've, I have actually spent a good, I would say, four hours going through checks and making sure I have everything I possibly need. So let's just do it. Bite the bullet, get in. Alright, so what do we got? What's our fuel? Fuel is 71%. Alright, I think we can do better than that we hit escape that'll do it and then if we what right click yeah right click that'll get us out so let's chuck some coal in here just like three or four should do and then how is that going to affect this we say stop loading get the fuels or get the uh, energies i should say and then give the fuels what is that going to do yeah there we go now it's loading now we are cooking with gas all right Sweet, I think that's gonna do. Let's click. Fuel. Oh yeah, it's going up. My inventory. Can I just load stuff in there? I don't need a fuel loader, a cargo loader, dang it. Alright, whatever. It's fine. Alright, we are at a hundred percent. We are good for launch. Mission control. I wish I had somebody to uh give me some words here. Anyway, let's go. Space bar. Let's do this thing. Oh man. All the rocket noises. Oh, I wish I could turn that up for you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna turning it up in uh, in editing. Okay, yeah, here we go. Oh yay! It's getting really loud. Oh god! Here we go. Oh wow, that did just get kind of loud. <laughs> oh man, goodbye world. It's nice to know you. I hope to make it back to your sweet green and white peaks someday. Oh man, this is apparently going to take a while, so I won't get too, uh, too emotional. Oh, cat, cat's hanging out. Cat's saying hi. <laughs> oh man. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at the world. The world down below. Is that like a map? Is that what it actually looks like? No. No, that's an approximation. Is it? It's hard to say. Oh, and now we're in space. We've, we've gone into the mystic void. Oh man. I am a ball of nerves. We got this though. It's fine. Yeah, I really did spend like a long time getting ready. Uh, I was meant to record this section uh, last night. I'm recording it in the morning. Here we go. So where are we going? We're going to... The space station cannot be created here. Where am I going? I want to go to Overworld. That's where we're a space station can be created. Ooh, I need stuff and I can make a space station? That's cool. Advanced wafer, iron ingots, that makes sense. Because I was wondering how you would do that. So that's a problem for another time. We'll come back with that stuff. I do have the aluminum, but none of the other things. Okay. 
Let's go to the moon instead. Hello? Overworld? Click again. Overworld. And it's the moon? Space station cannot be created there. Uh, uh, how do I launch? Ah, launch. There we go. We're launching to the moon. Downloading terrain. Warning, space to slow down. I'm holding space. Entering entry velocity. I have a long way to go. I'm going to let this go a little bit. And maybe now is a good time. Space to slow down. Alright, I'm slowing down. All of the downs. Yeah, we're good. Can I put some torches? Hmm, this isn't good. I can't see. Is this a bug of some kind? I have a torch. Let's try relogging. Alright, I'll be back in a sec, guys. And here we are on the moon. And actually being visible. Don't worry about that. Um, I have actually been gone all day, basically. Torch. And it has no oxygen, so it's not working. And we still have... Uh, you can see by my oxygen level basically how much time I've spent on the moon already. Um, and that was all... All of it. Um, just trying to figure everything out. I, um, it's tin ore. It's interesting. Oof, that, that, that jumps. Uh, so the problem, it turns out, there's caves on the moon, that's interesting. Is there anything good down here? And you can see it's dark for me because I had to remove my night vision. There's some kind of conflict between, <laughs> that just looks silly, the evolved spider, I should hope so. Um, there's some kind of problem between, uh oh. Neat. Between um, Galacticraft and Advanced uh, Genetics, where it will not allow, or not allow, but it won't, uh, it won't process the lighting correctly. Evolve Creeper. Oh, that hurt. Really glad I picked my energy or my uh, what do you call it? Armor back on. All right, let's get out of here. I still have flight. Uh, the only thing I really can't have is the uh, the night vision. And as you saw earlier, it was just black. Just pure blackness. So I'm probably going to keep night vision off for now. Um, I should activate the lander. There's like stuff in there. That's cool. Um, take my things back. Can I take this back? Get rid of it? Anything else in here? Hello? Hello? No, no, nothing? Alright, get out of here. Get out of here! Man, whoa, this thing is going nuts! Look at this! It's not wanting to leave. Okay. Well, you just stay there. <laughs> That's fine with me. Uh, yeah, you can see I had to kill myself over here. It was just pure darkness. I, had to, I just had to get out. Um, couldn't, couldn't do it anymore. So basically what I want to do now is find a... And we still have flight so we can fly around. Um, find a good spot for a moon base. And I think if this is going to be the landing zone from our base, I'm sure the coordinates are roughly the same, um, we should probably do something like, that, like over here maybe on top of this. I didn't bring all my tools, so I'm going to have to do this one block at a time. Oh, that's moon turf, so it's pretty easy. It's like another rack. It's fine. And this is kind of like end stone, so I like that. We're going to have definitely going to have to build with some of these back on Earth. Uh, but for now, we can set up our moon base before our energy our oxygen runs out. Let's do some simple walls here. We'll just do like some Tyrion right here. What's that? Four high? Perfect. We'll come over here. One, two, three, four. Oops, that's not it. Boom. Sweet. And then maybe like there. Right there. One, two, three, four. And then come over this way. We'll do like one, two, three, four, and another one like here. Two, three, four. Maybe one there too. We'll make this side kind of uh, twisty. It's not the word I'm looking for, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, can we use our chisel? I didn't bring my chisel, did I? I did not. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with this. 
not really, but but okay. Um, so let's see. That'll probably be like the entrance. So let's do like something like this, and then I think for now I'm gonna just put moon dirt here as like the doorway, and then we can kind of remove that later on. Oh, that's cool. It kind of does our column column deal. Do I want to do it there? Or do I want to back it up one? I think I want to back it up one. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this, take care of this, and then I'm going to come back, because I don't want to spend the whole episode building on the moon. I kind of want to explore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up. I'm going to give us a little space full of oxygen. I should probably set up our oxygen and oxygenator stuff here. Oxygen collector. And how does this work? Power and the oxygen needs to come out that way, so let's get rid of that. Just do something like this. Just surround it. Yeah, that works. And we can throw a coal generator like right here. I probably didn't bring any aluminum wire. So <laughs> I was uh not as strenuous in my requirements this go around. Just chuck that in there. That can start collecting. Not enough power. Come on. Power up. Power up, guy. There we go. Got some power. And it is now collecting. Very slowly. And let's put it into an oxygen bubble distributor. Or maybe a compressor. Maybe a sealer. All right, I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna leave it, and I'm gonna leave that too. I'm gonna do. All right, so yeah, I'll do this building. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go check that out. What's over there? Oh man! All right, we'll check it out and then we'll come back. Cause there's there's stuff, stuff and things over here. There's like a little village, a moon village. Is that intentional or is that a world generation issue? Oh, there's a there's a building there. Probably some chunks here that aren't loading correctly. Can I go in there? Nope. I think I'm going this way though, right? Tin decoration block. Alien villager. Can I trade with you? Nope. What is uh what is going on here? Nope. Can I get out of here please? So yeah, this is intentional. So there's trees on here, there's some dirt. Should probably grow some trees too. Can I trade with you? Nope. Cannot trade with any of these alien villagers. Some more saplings over there. There's some stuff down there, obviously, in the ungenerated things. So that's cool. We got a little alien village right next to us on the moon. Go figure. Aliens living on the moon. So let's go over here. We'll build our base real quick because we are starting to run out of the things. So I'm going to cut away right now and we'll be back. Hey everyone, welcome back. So we have our problem fixed here. Uh, this is our little base. We are in a completely oxygenated environment, which is amazing. Uh, there's a death there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had some problems. So I left when I left you guys. I well, first of all, it had been a couple. It was a couple days ago in real time. Um, so yeah. Uh, but the problem that we had there's our landing spot, and you can see we can see now, which is beautiful. It's great. This is a interesting vista. The moon. This moon biome. Um, I'm gonna go outside and collect some of this stuff. So this is our door right now. It's uh, it could use some improvement. I will not lie. Um, and the base itself is extremely sparse. But yeah, oops, let's just break that. Um, so yeah, basically here's here's our base so far. We have our oxygen system out here. This is oxygen collectors, oxygen makers. Uh, the wheat and the leaves are both doing it, I believe. And we have our solar panels for power. We also have a coal generator inside to last the night. And um, just to uh, add some augmentation when we need it. Uh, so that's the base. I think it's pretty much going to be like my starter base, kind of a hidey hole type deal. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is make this into like the core of, of a proper base, or maybe even just use it like an airlock. And I will do some more um, proper building somewhere else around here. 
uh, we'll add like maybe a little so we'll do like a kind of a science outpost um, somewhere where you can you can go and find uh, find some respite in this harsh environment because you can see I have two in the top left that's my air tanks I have two large canisters still I'm still using the same ones um, they're filled up uh, and I have been out here for maybe 10 minutes and that's that's the that's the uh, time that has passed that's how much time we you, you can kind of see how much time we have left uh, my witchery circle that's actually how I've been getting back um, I haven't been taking the rocket because I didn't feel like the last few times I've been under a kind of a time crunch because I only recently got the oxygen set up so I've kind of been just tossing in my uh, waystone and teleporting back to uh, back to earth with uh, magic rather than the, uh, the lander or spaceship, I should say, the rocket ship. Uh, so basically, yeah, that's what we have so far. You know, it, it's not terrible. It's not the greatest. Uh, when I put these down, I was really imagining something else. Uh, but really, really the practical aspect of just needing to breathe um, really altered that plan. So now that that's set up, it's going to give us a lot more creative freedom. And uh, now that we can actually see, oh my gosh, uh, the problem, it turns out, was that... Uh, the oops there's that phone is that uh advanced genetics uh night vision was interfering somehow uh i'm not entirely sure how but it was so i've removed it from my uh syringe my you know every time i die i have to re-inject myself with the additional ooh, additional genetics i don't know what that was that was weird oh that was probably this it fell that's cool oh you know what that's gonna be dangerous if it hits our base. Ooh, falling meteor. Alright, um, yeah, but that's, uh, that's the story there. And this does not want to break. There it is. Hooray! So we'll take this back to Earth. So yeah, basically my plan at this point is to kind of go back to Earth, gather a few things, um, and then come back, and I'm going to go and search for a dungeon. So I will come back with you guys then. Uh, that'll probably be in a couple days for you guys. Um, I hope. I hope it's not longer. Um, and yeah, I'm probably just going to crack right down and get to that. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. It's taken me some time. There's been a lot of technical issues involved. And um, it's been frustrating, but I think, well, I hope it comes out okay. And uh, I will see you in the next one. So as always, have a great, awesome day, and I will see you around. Bye-bye. Float.